cafe anyway. Mike's Daily Podcast. Mike Matthews here. Hi, I'm Mike. Welcome to Cafe Anyway, somewhere in Podcastro Valley. Are you glad I'm talking not like this anymore? I'm going to stop at this point. Mike's Daily Podcast. I'm Mike Matthews. This is Cafe Anyway, somewhere in Podcastro Valley. Ten. No, wait. It's just Podcastro Valley, man. I've been singing this song for about three seconds and it's gonna end. And you're like, thank you, Mike. Those were the same rhymes as yesterday. Mike's Daily Podcast. What is happening? I'm being redundant. I am uh, not thinking outside of the box. So, welcome to FF episode 2829. We're at Cafe Anyway, somewhere in Podcastro Valley, the last place on earth in the land of Ameritopica. And... I am here with you at Cafe Anyway with all these awesome people hanging out. And I've been doing this show for a long time. And what else? Oh, the summer driving season kicking off this weekend. Summer driving. Sorry, I went into that voice again. Summer driving. Kind of, It's kind of like Tucker Carlson. Hey, this is terrible. Gas prices are really high because of Biden. Gas prices are likely heading a bit higher. Uh, gasoline demand has been sputtering. Average 8.6 million barrels a day. And so, see, that's down. Not a bunch, but about one, a little over 1% from a year ago. A gallon averages three dollars and 60 cents nationally here in california it is five dollars and 24 cents average 524 i have been seeing it under five in places i don't want to say but let's just say union city and castro valley possibly and here's today's podcast picture it is up slightly from a year ago but remember gas prices have been up 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 Like crazy since Well since 2022 The podcast picture is not of gas prices But of a beautiful pelican that flew overhead When I was in Marina del Rey In Los Angeles uh, Recently And oh pelicans are amazing My mom used to say They look so prehistoric So it made her feel like a cave woman Like like, uh, Raquel Welch And just going wow look at that so that picture is at mikesdailypodcast.com. Check it out. That's the late great Basil the Boxer. He used to bark at pelicans, sandpipers, seagulls, whatever else he could find at the beach. He'd bark at it. And he was great. There he is. So gas prices up slightly nationally. It was three fifty four last year. This year's three sixty. Gas prices are expected to rise by 10% a gallon throughout this summer. But the weaker demand for gas is due to fuel efficiency gains. Yes, people are able to drive farther. Not the people with the big old trucks. They gotta make it sound super loud when they're driving up my street. Because I'm driving my big old truck. My something something ton truck. I'm gonna make that engine real loud. Gonna make that catalytic converter just blow out your eardrums, Mike. Even though you're sitting in your living room trying to have a conversation with lovely lady friend, it loud. Gonna blow your ear out. Thank y'all. And I'm not even hauling anything in the back of my truck. Is is that why you're bald, Mike? (laughs) Because I'm not hauling anything in the back of my truck. That make no sense. It says I should be hauling a big old piano or a boulder. But no, I'm just making a bunch of noise. Same with guys on the Harleys. Blah, 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 blah. I, I can't even have a con- I just stopped talking. I'm like, oh, thank goodness Mike stops talking. No, but I do. When that, why even try? Why even exert the energy to try and have a speech 
a speaking Any kind of speaking whatsoever I have other things to say about cars More hybrids and electric vehicles Are on the road did you know Especially here in the Bay Area Past couple years It has become quite evident that If you are in Fremont You have to own a Tesla Danger Will Robinson Danger Yeah I don't know If that is the smartest thing to do Because well Now Fremont might have Better infrastructure But Podcastro Valley We have had I have lived through Power outages Because people were There were too many houses Installing The electrical charging system And it's It blows the grid up So We'll see We'll see how it goes But it is a thing We'll see if that momentum continues I have heard some say That the momentum For electric vehicles Has slowed down quite a bit But There are more hybrids And electric vehicles On the road And I would rather have a hybrid Because at least you have that Possibility of Using just gas Of course there's the whole Battery situation And when the batteries catch fire It's You can't put it out Well you can But it takes a lot And we have to come up with Better ways to put out those fires Because there are going to be more Batteries This is not going away This isn't like What was it 2003 When There was a movie That came out Called The Death of the Electric Vehicle (laughs) That was That was said too soon Ed Bagley Jr. was in it And he's driving There's a bunch of cars Electric vehicles That are driving Through a graveyard Hey good looking We'll be back to pick you up later Maybe there was That was an electric car And some people using A Mr. Microphone Saying hi out to some people At the cemetery Does anyone remember this movie? It was a documentary I really I I checked it out At Blockbuster Checked it out Cause you checked it Well you paid for it It wasn't a library Libraries today You can check out All kinds of DVDs No one wants them anymore And I met Ed Ed Bigley Jr. At a car show That was featuring Hybrid Electric vehicles And he thought That it was awesome The Ability to have as we go outside a cafe anyway Where we bring you Mike's Daily Podcast Somewhere in Podcastro Valley The last place on earth in the land of Meritofka He thought it was awesome If you had a biofuel Car hybrid That was also electric So electric biofuel So there, there you're not using any gas You're making The uh, Fossil what would, what would be fossil fuel Four. But instead oh, wait. It's putting out Anyway uh, Anyway A cafe anyway It's putting out More environmentally Friendly fumes Was the bio friend, The biofuel But I spoke with my Cousin Who you hear at the beginning Of every podcast Anki When she was visiting Back in February I said Are they still using Biofuel Biodiesel Biodiesel That's the only thing Is you have to have A diesel car And he And she said No It's really dropped People are just using regular diesel now So I don't know I know I say I don't know But this is what we're We're waiting to see I guess What is Where is this going People still driving to the office Less than before the pandemic Is another reason for weaker demand And I have definitely noticed this Especially on Mondays Tuesdays and sometimes Wednesdays The traffic is much lighter When I'm heading down from Podcaster Valley to Fremont And demand for gasoline peaked In 2019 It was August of that year And it has never recovered To pre-pandemic levels The demand for gasoline It has never recovered Because then we got hit by COVID And since then it has never been as big a demand since uh, August of 2019. All that from Rob Black. I produce his podcast. You can hear him on the radio on AM 1220 KDOW weekday mornings. And then he goes over on the TV, on Cron TV, Monday through Thursday in the nine o'clock hour. And I was talking with my lovely lady friend about driving my commute from Podcastro Valley down to Fremont. And the crazy things that you see. Like basically Mission Boulevard Is a highway They never built It's a trap It's a trap Mission Boulevard 
But Mission Boulevard is very treacherous because you have a lot of homeless. Have you noticed unhoused has gone away, that term? I never hear that anymore. Unless I'm listening to NPR, which is very seldom these days because they really irked me with the whole October 6th, 7th thing. But there is the thing with where the cars that you're driving, they're long there and then there'll be someone who has some kind of thing happening that I don't know. I mean, walk a mile in my shoes and all of that. I don't know what's happening in their world, but they live on the streets and they decide they're going to walk out in the middle of the street and you got to be so careful. And that happens a lot on Mission Boulevard. And then there are people that are driving in the left lane. That's the fast lane, as you know. And they're driving super slow. So slow, in fact. And I don't drive that fast, but they drive not even what the speed Mike limit is. is. Awesome. Oh, thank you. Ron. Um, But wait, wait, wait. They're causing all... That is so treacherous. And they slam on their brakes for no reason. Now, I know that's just a thing to say, but literally, you're, you're driving behind them and they slam on the brakes... And you have to be really paying attention. And you know, there are so many distractions these days. I was talking to a younger person and they were saying, oh yeah, you know, podcasts on, on uh, the, the, my phone that I listen to. I don't do the audio only ones. I do the video podcast. I watch the podcast while I'm driving. I said, you can't do that. This is what they do. This is what young people are doing. And remember, when we were young, I'm assuming you're young. Uh, you're, you're my age. Well, okay, let's just say when I was young, <laughs> maybe not you because you are young, but when I was young, the big distractor was the car radio because you're trying to put the cassette in there. A little bit later on, it was the CD. You're trying to change the channel. The Haley Moment. Oh, yeah, Nikki Haley. So all this talk now with conservatives. Is she going to endorse Trump now? It's time for her to endorse Trump. When is she going to endorse Trump? It's, come on. What, what, what does that matter? She was a possible alternative to Trump. It didn't take off the way everyone thought it would. Didn't DeSantis didn't take off the way everyone thought he would. But okay, so... Here I'm saying, why is this happening with the cars, with people slamming on the brakes for no reasons? Or, or maybe you're heading to a stop sign and everyone's slowing down except for the guy right next to you who goes flying past you and cuts in front of you and then slams on their brakes. So basically they accelerated just to slam on their brakes. They wasted gas just to wear down their brake pads. Their brake pads are like that much thinner now because they slammed on them. Because there's a lot of force going into the car when you're pushing it down the pedal. Their right foot must be just have a mind of its own. This is crazy. Why is it? I'm just upset, as you can tell. This is also happening on the freeways. There are people that put their hazards on and think they can do anything on the planet. They can stop in the middle of the road, in the middle of the freeway, because they got their hazards on. Oh, we can see you. You have a force field around you. Nothing's going to happen to you. This is what happened when there was somebody on the Bay Bridge recently decided to just stop in the middle of the freeway and get out of the car. Killed. But where's the common sense? Don't you think... That everyone has common sense? Nope. You see it when you drive down Mission Boulevard. So, am I driving too slow? I don't think so. Am I keeping an eye on the road? Oh, I am. Because there's all of that that I just mentioned happening constantly. And if you want to make the most of that gas that's over five bucks... Why are you accelerating and burning it all and then slamming on your brakes? It defeats the purpose. So maybe you want to fly. Did you know flying is cheaper this year for most? Americans traveling this summer have broadly seen prices fall. 
uh, Chewie was just flying recently in the Millennium Falcon, and he said that to me, what he just said. So prices are falling for airline fares. Last year, there was sticker shock. Did I fly last year? No, I did fly. I didn't fly last year, just this year. That's where the podcast picture came from, from that trip down to Marina Del Rey. Uh, Average airline fares for flights in the U.S. fell by almost 6% since last year. Not much, but it's something. The average fares to Europe, the most popular trip abroad, are down 8%. Not a lot, but it's something. Versus a year ago. They were at record highs a year ago. But airfare remains more expensive largely for trips abroad. If you want to go to Tokyo, if you, that is one of the top spots for American tourists heading over there to Japan. It costs $1,372, up 2% from a year ago. Then there's flights to Canada, South America, Middle East, and Africa. That is up 2% to 6%. It's not a lot, but it's something. Don't forget, we have also seen airlines charge higher fees for checked bags. <laughs> checked bags. Is that funny the way I said that? Booking a flight at least one to three months before a domestic trip will save you money. And three to four months ahead, if you book it, you'll save money for your international traveling. Back to electric cars. Tesla made its three millionth car in California. They produce its two millionth car in the town where I see a lot of Teslas and where I drive to every day in Fremont in December of 2023. So December 2023, they made their two millionth and then they just recently made their three millionth. That's about a million cars in 17 months or roughly... 59,000 cars a month. Remember, Elon Musk bought Tesla. He did not create Tesla. What was that all about? I know people don't remember. Target is lowering their prices on 5,000 frequently bought items. Food items. They're lowering the prices on milk, meat, bread, fruit, and vegetables. Yet, another reason why you should not eat out when your grocery items are dropping in price. People, the, the big stores want you to get in, want you to come in and buy. They want you. They want you. The restaurants, they don't care. Ah, uh, there's so many people eating out. We don't care. We'll just keep raising prices. We don't care. We'll never drop prices. Restaurants never drop prices. Red Lobster Files, I, wait. Now, I know there was a story I had said recently on a podcast. It was like some fast food people. I think it was McDonald's dropping a price on something, but you needed to use the app, and it was a bunch of hoops to jump through. I don't know if... Oh, speaking of restaurants, Red Lobster. Hi there, Mike. How are you? I'm excellent. Thank you, Red Lobster. That was a Red Lobster talking to me. They have filed for Chapter 11 Bankruptcy Protection. Yes, guess what put them over the edge? A disastrous, endless shrimp promotion helped drive the restaurant chain to a net loss last year. People love that shrimp. So nicely breaded, crunchy. Mm, mm, mm. I'm outside a cafe anyway, somewhere in Podcaster Valley. Look who's here. Hello, Michael Matthews. It's Madam Rudebeck. I want. I don't know what you just said. Woo. I I said really quickly one of those things that I say all the time on the podcast. So I said it super fast, which is true of many people that have podcasts or are on the radio and they talk super fast or do their little videos on YouTube and they talk super fast. That's part of me. If you want to subscribe, uh, click like and subscribe and tell your friends about. They say it really fast because they know it's the same thing you've heard on a million other podcasts. So. Do you like other podcasts? Yes. Do you like the YouTube videos? Yes. Do you like Casey Kasem? No. How terrible. That's don't speak ill of the dead. Did I tell you once I was the, uh, I trained 
Casey's son, Mike, Mike Kasem. Hey, hey, we both had the same name. And I showed him, uh, it was a radio station in Thousand Oaks, California. And I showed him basically how to work the station. And he was supposed to come back the next week. He never did. Michael Matthew, I never heard that story. What is the matter with you? Why did he say that to me? He was just a little surprised by your accent. I don't know. That's very uh, culturalist. No, wait, that's not it. That's very, it's it's like um, kind of derogatory towards people with accents, I guess is what I'm pointing out. Look who else is here. Hello there, Mike. This is Valentino the Bear King and Teddy. And this is Bison Bentley. Do you know that? Mike, thankfully, we don't have accents. So people won't ask us what is the matter with you. They. Yeah, nothing's the matter with it. Do you know that? That's excellent. Well, we learned a lot on today's show, and I hopefully think that you will call me and tell me how much you learned. Here's the number. Call Mike at the Cafe Anyway hotline. Area code 510-228-4640. I'm sorry, Dave. I'm afraid I can't do that. Please, please do it, Hal. Do it. Do it. Wasn't that the dialogue from that movie? Okay, next show it'll be the wonderful Shelley Shuhart, Floyd the Floorman, and John Deere the Engineer. If you would like to find out more stuff about Mike's Daily Podcast, other places to listen to it, check out the little radio station I have on my website, as well as all the past podcast pictures, all of that, and more. So much more. So much more I can't even think of it at the moment. What the more entails, it could be anything. So with all of that, here's A-Frame. Mike's Daily Podcast is written and produced and performed by Mike Matthews. His podcast is super easy to find. Download or listen to his show and read his blog at mikesdailypodcast.com. Email Mike now at mikesdailypodcast at gmail.com. See you tomorrow. Bye.